Hey, welcome back. Bienvenidos. Cartagena de Indias, located in Colombia. We are back. This time I have some newbies with me. Some Americans. So I brought them down here. I heard the rumors about how things were going on and a lot of different curfews and stuff. I didn't believe it. You know, the party starts in your head like Ray's Boom Boom Room. Well, let's get it and let's see what went on. Let's go. We already know we're going to win. So I have to give credit to my local friends. Uh, the party did get shut down at 8 o'clock. We was in Central. The cops ran us off, but the party didn't stop. We had a hotel and a good one. So the next day I woke up and I'm like, did I drink too much? What is going on here? I could not believe my eyes. Continues to amaze people who watch what is this? Play because he's doing all of this blind. On the All right, so I apologize for that Just random stuff be popping in my head. I was like, what is going on? But uh, let's go ahead and rewind back to day number one. You know what I'm saying? The plane landed. We got there. We booked an excursion immediately. And we got ran off at 8 o'clock. But let's start from there. Keep what is up? You are now rocking with the best, and we are back. Travel Squad, two peas in a period. And don't forget the period. We are in Cartagena. Let's go. Yes. Hey. <laughs> pimping since been pimping since been pimping. Let's get it, y'all. Amazing trip coming soon. Oh, y'all so day one is in the bank we had a crazy time even getting to Colombia. Uh, a couple of their documents got mixed up and somehow we all made it thank god all right so we're on day two right now and we finally took a picture in front of the sign i've never done that i see it every single time and i miss it going to and from the airport but we stopped and we snapped a couple of pictures because it shows that hey you're in cartagena it's a landmark but we went out that morning, woke up, we left around 8 o'clock, we hung around, and we actually got back around, I want to say, right at 12, 12, 10, we was already in a taxi. So I came upstairs, I said, I don't believe it's true, let me see. I looked outside, I said, N nobody is at the beach. This is crazy. I mean, they literally shut the beaches down, period. It doesn't matter if it was before 12 o'clock, the beaches and the islands were closed. You know, I've been through a lot of lockdowns, but I've never been through a lockdown when they actually closed the beach in Cartagena. I've been watching a lot of other content creators that I trust on YouTube, and they were telling me about things that are going on in Medellin and uh, Cali and things like that. I never heard nobody say nothing about Cartagena. So I wanted to put this information out to you all, but not only talk about it, I want to show you. Look. Nobody there. Hold on. Except for the police. 
<laughs> they there. And if you on that beach, they're writing tickets. Or you coming out your pocket for money. So, you know, day three went, went the same way. Hotel time. But we're still on day two right now. This is what was happening at one o'clock. You can still be in your hotel and have a good time. Alright y'all, so day three was a blur. It's basically the same thing as Saturday. Um just hung it out the beach. I chilled with my friends and they enjoyed the company of other tourists and had a great time. Now I, I gotta tell you all that this did kind of frustrate me because I didn't get to show them the islands and show them the city and all the different things that you can do, but they were fine with the hotel and being amongst themselves and having a good time. Great. I you know they like it, they love it. But I gotta be honest with you all, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving you all field intelligence, boots on the ground intel. If it's your first time coming down here and they haven't locked down like this, I'm, uh, you know, things change on the daily. I'm curious about what they're gonna do next weekend. So, uh, I wouldn't wanna move like that, personally. And I know friends down here. I don't wanna be confined uh, <laughs> like that. That's my first and last time doing that. But, you know, let me give you all a status update as of Monday. So right now, the curfew has changed from, I think it's 8 to 8, I want to say. It's 8 o'clock, but let me show you all how the beach looks at 2.30. So this is the beach. Monday. Now, some of you all are probably thinking what I'm thinking right now. Where is the people at? No gracias. Entiendo, pero me tengo en mi casa. Gracias. All right. Like I was saying, some of y'all are probably thinking what I'm thinking. Where is the people at, right? So the curfew is at eight o'clock throughout the city but on the beach they actually still have a curfew and the curfew you're allowed to be on the beach from 7 to 2 7 to 2 and then so what I hear on the weekend is that uh, the curfew is going to be I don't know if the beach is going to be open but in the city or whatever it's going to be from like 7 to 2 so instead of like this weekend how it was 12 it's gonna be 2 p.m. So, oh man, I don't really know what to say about that. That's why I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't mind curfews, you know what I mean? But two o'clock? I don't mind eight o'clock, 10 o'clock. But let me reiterate this one more time. I just wanna put information out there that is important to y'all as travelers so that you don't be blowed the way I'm blowed. If you're coming down here and you're with friends in your group, Man, the party starts in your head. Even if you got zero people, the party will start in your head. You know what I mean? Like raise boom boom room. However, if this is your first time down here and you've never met anybody or don't have any friends, or let me put it like friends you trust, because you can meet friends everywhere. That two o'clock curfew, 
and the fact that hotels are not guest friendly, most of them, even a lot of these Airbnbs, it's gonna be a struggle game, man. Hey, but let me reiterate one more time. Um, they said they had a great time and they're coming back. So, you know, mission accomplished. Uh, what I do in my videos, I wanna show you all how to move, how to travel, share intelligence. And one of the things that I wanted to show this time was that all you need is three to four days in Cartagena and you've seen everything. You don't need to stay months like I've stayed or weeks. Three to four days is enough. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. I got more great videos coming soon, man. Coming soon. You're not going to want to miss these up and coming videos. They're going to be bangers. I promise you. But I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Like always, you could have been anywhere in the world. You were with me. I'm Travel Squad 2Ds in a period. Don't forget the period. Period.